ahead of an expected full-blown invasion, Israel expanded its operations in the Gaza Strip and said that its air force conducted extensive strikes on Hamas's tunnels and other infrastructure. This includes the use of innovative bomb known as sponge bombs, which can seal off the intricate network of tunnels beneath Gaza without any explosions. Even as the Israel Defense Forces have remained tight-lipped about the use of these sponge bombs, it is reported that these weapons can seal off tunnel entrances and help prevent surprise attack from Hamas militants. So what are these sponge bombs? Being called Israel's new secret weapon, a sponge bomb is a kind of chemical grenade. It contains no explosives but can use to seal off gaps or tunnel entrances. So how do sponge bomb works? The sponge bombs are a chemical weapon that are different from traditional explosives. They do not explode in the traditional sense. Instead, they trigger a certain explosion of foam. When thrown on opponents, foam rapidly expands and solidifies. In this case, it can effectively block tunnel passageways like the so-called Gaza Metro, preventing potential ambushes by militants emerging from hidden pathways. Gaza Metro is a vast and intricate system of tunnels believed to span hundreds of miles. These tunnels are thought to be riddled with traps and are used by Hamas for a variety of purposes, including keeping the hostages. So what are the risks and complications with sponge bombs? This advanced equipment comes with its own risk. The sponge bombs are made up of volatile liquid emulsion, which are resulted in unfortunate incidents, with some soldiers reportedly rendered blind. Due to this hazard, Israel may have to use technological adaptations, such as throwbots, which can relay the image back to the controller who can operate the robot safely from a distance.